Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever had questions about installing optics to your Sig Sauer P320 X10, then stay tuned to this video. So I love this P320 X10 and now I think I'm ready to have an optic on my first pistol. When I was shooting this gun a few times in the past, I noticed that my shots were all hitting about the six o'clock position on the target. You know, point of aim was at the bullseye, but point of impact was a little bit below that. Some of you guys have commented on my video saying that probably the reason for that is that this comes with a number six sight. And if you want to correct that, that you should ask SIG for or install a uh, number eight sights on it. But instead of messing with that, <clears throat> I think that I'm going to install this red dot on it instead because I'm going to be using this for hunting and just having that red dot I think is going to be a little bit easier and quicker to pick up the sight picture. So in any case in all of my research and everything trying to figure out what sights fit this because I do know that the Romeo 2 from Sig Sauer fits this perfectly and another one by Delta Point Pro I believe. So I was looking at a lot of options out there and Holison was one of the ones that I kept seeing come up in everybody's positive reviews. And so I started to look into them and I found out that the HE507C fits on the Sig Sauer P320X10. Also the HS507C as well, but basically the 507C. And after looking at it, I realized that the red dot doesn't perfectly fit into here. So then I started to research about optic plates. And for optics plates, you're going to need something from CHPWS that makes a perfectly good fit for the Holosyn and the P320X10. So let's just go over what I got in the box from Holosyn. So I chose a green dot because I can pick up a green dot a lot easier than a red dot. And they don't make a lot of red dots in green apparently. So that's one reason why I decided not to go with the Sig Romeo 2 for this pistol. Also based on the cost and everything. This one will run you about around maybe uh, three to $400 depending on where you get it from. But this one is the green dot sight. It is the HE507C version. Now I've already played around with this and got it to my settings how I want. Anyway, you get cool little packaging that's very uh, protective of the, the green dot or the, the optic. You get the cool little foam pad on top, right? Business card and it does say, take a moment to activate your warranty. And let's see what else we got. Cleaning pad, desiccant, <clears throat> some screws. Now these screws are four of the smaller screws. You get four of the larger screws and you get this little wrench and that's all you get. And for the CHPWS, you're going to need this exact optic plate and that part number is SGRX-RSH-FIL and has a B number on here, B number SZ018. And when you get that from CHPWS, you get it in this little bag here with installation instructions, some Loctite and also additional screws in there. What I'm planning to do today is actually just try and use the stock screws that came with the P320X10. So first, We'll just go ahead and take this off. Ugh. It's on there good. Okay, so we'll keep those two screws there. They might not be long enough actually, but we'll find out. By the way, I forgot to mention that you do get this nice instruction manual with the Holosyn optic, and I'll take pictures of that and leave that at the end of the video if you guys wanna read that in depth. You can also download it from their website. All right, so anyway, plate comes off easily like that. Slides in and out of these grooves as well with these teeth here on the front. And where's the optic plate? It's right here. Actually, let me just show you really quick. Without the optic plate, the optic fits in there, but you can see this play in movement, right? You can still line up the holes perfectly. I don't know if you can see that, but however, you still have this gap at the front of the optic and behind the slide there. 10 millimeter has a lot of recoil and I don't feel so comfortable just leaving it like that. Uh, it's very highly recommended that you get this very thin optic plate so that you can make a very nice tight seal between the slide and the optic. And this is so 
thin, by the way, that it's easily flexible and bendable, but you don't want to bend it too much because you want it to sit perfectly in there flat, which it does. And then, uh, by the way, you can see there's two little dimples on the plate that fit right into those grooves. So put that on there and you can see that you have a very nice fitment there with the alignment of the screw holes. And then also you have these posts here that will fit into the top or the, the bottom part of the optic here, like that. Once that's all down, everything is locked in a little bit more securely. You won't have this gap up front and these posts really secure and help hold the optic in place. So anyway, go ahead, put that on there. Put that on there and we'll see if these screws are long enough and they are not. I mean you could, told, could have told that I guess by seeing the, the width of that. So anyway, stock screws from the P320X10 will not fit to secure your Holosyn optic and the plate to your X10. So let's go ahead and grab the longer ones. Let's see if I wanna use the ones from Holosyn or the ones from the CHPWS. They did give Loctite. So they give three screws there and those are too small. And so let's use this one. Let me look. Let me look, one is flat. So the ones from Holosyn that they give you are flat on the top of the heads. And the ones that come from CHPWS are a little bit rounded on the top. I don't think it matters too much. It depends, I guess, what your feeling is like. And I think, let me just compare the lengths here too. The CHPWS ones are longer, which are these, keep them separated, than the Holosyn ones. So I think it's best to start short than to go too long. But let's find out. Drop us through there. And you can see that you have plenty of length there to install it to your slide. And uh, you're going to need a different size screwdriver. It says on in the manual they need to tighten them down to 15 inch pounds and I don't have a torque wrench with me, unfortunately. So we're just gonna have to tighten them down based on how tight they came out. Put this optic and plate back on, put the screw in there, and it's getting super tight already and I can see the head is not all the way flush. So let's back that out. That tells me that obviously the longer ones will not work with, the longer ones from CHPWS will not work as well. Let's see if these shorter ones work better for the Holosyn here. So smaller screws from Holosyn you can see it comes out a little bit less, but you know, that should be enough. By the way, let's just double check here. You don't want to force it because maybe you are using the wrong threads. So, you know, that one worked better in the bigger holes, okay. Let's see, make sure we're using the right holes here. Okay, we're using the two smaller ones. So then let's see if these fit in there better first. And if they don't, then we're gonna have to switch to, I believe, the CHPWS screws. See, it's too tight and I don't trust it didn't go in as smoothly as the other ones. Let's try these brown ones from CHPWS, same bit on the uh, screwdriver here. Hey, see now that fits a lot better in there. So those don't have Loctite, we're gonna have to put some Loctite on there. Put some on the threads, a little dabble in there too. 
Gonna have to do that for both sides here. Let's see, maybe it's easier or better to put the Loctite on after it's through the optic. So these screws that work in the X10 are the brown ones that come from CHPWS and those fit in those grooves or those threads a lot better. And they're the right size. So thank you CHPWS for providing the right screws for me. And we put Loctite on there. Okay, let's get back to it here. Plate goes on, optic, and then we'll tighten her down. Okay, screws are in there. Let's torque them down. All right, that definitely feels very tight. It does not wobble or anything, but here hopefully you can see the screws are nicely seated well. So just to reaffirm here, guys, the right screws or the correct screws that you need to use are not the ones that come from Holison. They do not exactly fit the thread pitch in the Sig Sauer P320 X10. And the longer ones also from CHPWS you shouldn't use. You should be using then the gold or brass colored screws that CHPW sends and then make sure you just use the Loctite that they provided which is very nice and convenient. All right, so one more final look here at the optic on the P320X10. You can see I got the light on or the optic on and everything like that. It looks really nice. Everything is seated in there pretty good. No big gaps that I can show you here. I mean, here this gap up front is definitely taken care of now with the optic plate. And at the back you kind of slightly see some light between the, the slide and the optic. However, everything is securely locked in place with the screws and the two posts that are in the optic plate onto the, the optic there. So there you have it guys. I hope you guys liked that video. In summary, what I'm using is the Holison HE507C-GRX2 and also the CHPWS optic plate. And I'll put that part number right up here next to me. And so that'll be the right fitment for the P320X10 if you want to use this Holison Optic 507C that I'm using. Anyways, thanks for watching and hope that you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you guys in the next video then. Thank you.